let's move ahead and talk about earthquake earthquake is also another kind of you know natural disasters so an earthquake which is generally known as a, a quake or a tremor is nothing but shaking off the surface of the earth is called earthquake and it results in the sudden release of energy from the earth crest that creates you know some kind of waves so these are called as uh, seismic waves and these create these waves create a lot of damage right they are measured using an instrument which is known as seismograph which was the deadliest earthquake which was ever recorded in the history was valdivia earthquake the uh, valdivia earthquake is known as one of the biggest earthquake which was ever recorded it hit the child uh, on may 22nd 1960 with a magnitude of 9.5 and a death toll of around 6000 people that is 6000 people they lost their life this was the most powerful earthquake which was ever recorded and various studies have also placed it at 9.4 to 9.6 on the moment magnitude scale that is this was the severity 9.4 to 9.6 this earthquake occurred in the afternoon and it lasted for about 10 minutes a total 10 minutes just imagine if the earth keeps shaking the earth surface is shaking for about 10 minutes then it can create so much of damage to the people and to the property The epicenter of this uh, mega thrust earthquake was near Lumbaco approximately uh, 570 kilometers south of Santiago. I will this is Santiago from Santiago it was 570 kilometers away. Now tornadoes are another naturally occurring disaster. So what is a tornado? A tornado is a violently rotating column of air. that rotates while in contact with both the surface of the earth and a cumulonimbus cloud like the air is rotating the column of the air is rotating on the ground and it reaches till the clouds till the cumulonimbus cloud and in few rare cases it may even reach up to the base of the cumulus clouds also the uh, tornado conditions are caused when different temperatures and humidity meet to form thunder clouds so that is when the tornadoes are formed and tornadoes are also known as twisters they are known as cyclones and they can attain a speed of up to 100 miles an hour tornadoes come in many shapes and sizes but they are typically in the form of a visible uh, condensation funnel whose narrow end touches the earth and is often encircled by a cloud of debris and dust so there's a lot of dust and debris that keeps rotating when a tornado occurs also you know here i would like to tell you that most of the tornadoes have wind speeds less than 110 miles per hour and are about 250 feet across and they travel a few miles before they get dispersed The most extreme tornadoes can also attain a speed of 300 miles per hour. Now the biggest tornado ever recorded was the Halam tornado. This tornado occurred on 22nd May 2004 and it touched the outside uh, Halam, Nebraska. It is recognized as the second largest known tornado peaking at 2.5 miles wide. The storm was long lived and having been on the ground for more than 100 minutes it was also a long track tornado with a track covering 52 miles a total of 1300 recorded uh, people were dead and 12000 people were injured in this tornado so the picture that you see here shows the timeline of the storm Okay now after tornado let's move on to discussing the volcanic eruption so what is a volcano volcano eruption occurs when we have hot materials that are thrown out of a volcano then it is called as a volcanic eruption and what is a volcano a volcano is any opening 
in the earth's surface which allows hot magma to escape from below the surface out of the earth surface the study of volcano is also called as volcanology the things which come out of that opening that we are talking about that is the volcano are lava rock dust or gas compounds right study of volcano as i said is called volcanology and volcanic eruption are measured using volcanic explosivity index so this index measures what is the extent of volcanic eruption eruptions can come from uh, side branches or from the top of the volcano also like as you see behind this you can you see this picture so there is a, a big hole and from this opening the magma is coming out so this is from the top it is coming out but there may be a case wherein the magma is coming out from the sides right some eruptions are terrible explosion that throw out huge amount of rocks and ashes and they may kill many people around so let's talk about a volcanic eruption uh, which occurred in 1815 and this eruption is of mount tambora this was one of the most powerful explosions in the recorded history and this explosion of the volcano is on the island of sambawa so you see this is the small island and the portion this opening that you see here is the tambora volcano this volcano reached climax on 10th of april 1815 and was followed by between 6 months and 3 years of increased streaming so from 6 month it stretched to about 3 years of you know volcanic eruption taking place in the volcano it hurled over 2000 kilometers away and had a death toll of around 71000 people and due to the explosion this in 1816 this year became the year without summer right so this was called the year without summer now this is about volcanic eruption 